juice. It can react to what with phenolic compound. It can react to phenolic compound. It can react to phenolic compound. Phenolic compound. That is any compound that contains what that contains. I'm going to talk about the hydrations of monosaccharide. So the reaction is a basically a type of reaction that monosaccharides undergo to give a fufura or let me just say purpura derivatives. Now let's just move into what the addition is and the mechanism behind the addition reaction. Now as far as the addition is concerned, the addition is the types of reactions in chemistry that has to do with what with loss of water. Now many people always find it difficult to understand uh, to differentiate between what is uh, the hydration and also condensation reaction? Exactly, condensation reaction. You see, when we're talking about condensation, condensation simply means you are condensing, that is, you are basically adding. In this case, you are basically adding two compounds together to give a single compound, and that is the types of addition reaction. Addition reaction. That is, it involves you adding two compounds together. And whenever you are adding them together, since there is going to be a formation of bond, that is, what is going to hold the two compounds together, that shows that there will be loss of what? Of water. That is basically what condensation reaction is. You are basically removing a molecule of water, of water to establish a bond. And in that case, you are joining two compounds together. That shows you are talking about condensation reaction. But in the case of dehydration reaction, the addition so doesn't mean you are joining two compounds together. It basically means in a single compound, in a single compound, there is loss of water. And in that case, the water that is uh, removed is not just, just a single molecule of water. Of water. The addition can be sometimes referred to as a total removal of water. Of water. That's why you are seeing dehydration. You are basically removing what? All the water molecules. If not all the water molecules, but you are removing excess amount of water from that compound and is a type of what of elimination reaction that has to do with what that has to do with what with remover of water hope you guys understand it now the addition is has to do with elimination of what of elimination of water and that's has to do with what elimination reaction why condensation has to do with what addition reaction but in the place of adding two compounds together you are going to remove what a molecule of what of water Right, so that's basically what it is. Just like me having adding a plus b together, and whenever I'm having a plus b together, I'm removing what a molecule of what of water, so that I can join them together to give me what a to b as the product. But whenever I actually have, let me say I have a, then I remove what I remove a molecule of water. That shows that a bond or a double. Let me just say a do, a bond between the carbon to carbon atom, or you can you can simply say a double bond can be produced between the carbon to carbon atom. So this has to do with the structure of what of a single compound. There will be change in the structure of what of that single compound A to give you what this to give you uh the product that you want to form. But the product will be the what the derivative of what of compound A. Now basically in this video, I'm going to be explaining uh the addition in respect or with respect to what to monosaccharides, right? And I want you guys to just uh get, grab your pen and uh, your book and let's uh, bring out the mechanisms behind the addition reaction. Now, suppose I'm having uh, six carbon uh, mono, uh, monosaccharide, which is the case of glucose. Let me draw the structure of glucose here, right? So let's say we have the structure of, of glucose. We have OH here, right? Then we have hydrogen here. Then we have carbon here. We have OH here, right? Then we have hydrogen here, right? So then followed by, here we are going to have OH, right? We are going to have hydrogen here. So another carbon OH is here, then hydrogen is going to be here, then we're going to have CH2OH, right? Now let's look at this very well. Now suppose I'm having this kind of uh, C sugar molecule, right? And in the presence of in the presence of uh, of acid or conk H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid. There is always elimination of, of what removal of three molecules of what of water. Then the product that is formed here, the product that is formed is a fofora derivatives, right? A fofora derivatives. They are going to have something like this. 
they don't have carbon then this is double bonded to another carbon single single bonded to this carbon then this is double bonded to another carbon they are going to have single bonded to CH2O8 right then here you are going to have uh, let's say from here carbon 2 you are going to have OH or oxygen here then here as well you are going to have this connected to this then I think there should be hydrogen here right it's very hydrogen here for the completion of the bond there's very hydrogen here and at the same time one two three four right so let's say hydrogen is here then followed there should be hydrogen here as well so it's can one two three four so the bond is complete now let's let me just go ahead and uh erase this side so i can structure the bond very well exactly so i can structure the bond very well now let's say we have the bond is from this carbon right so this is basically for four der derivative right for four derivative now i'm going to explain what this means now whenever monosaccharide or this is in the case of glucose whenever monosaccharide undergo uh uh dehydration that shows that the medium at which the monosaccharide must undergo the, the, the addition must be, must, be, must be in acidic medium. So monosaccharide or simply let me say monosaccharide in acidic medium, whenever they are treated with uh, acidic medium, like something like with conk h 2 so that is uh, hydrogen tetrasol 6 acids. Whenever monosaccharide is, is treated with this kind of uh, acid, conk acid, they undergo elimination of, of theory water molecule. That's why I said, guys, I said the addition is the type of what, of elimination reaction that involves the removal of what of theory motor, water molecule right so whenever we are talking about exhaust sugar that is any sugar with with six carbon atom any monosaccharide resource with six carbon atom they undergo the addition reaction to give what to give hydrosyl hydrosyl methyl phosphora so they undergo Monosaccharide like what? Monosaccharide like what? Exhaust sugar. They undergo uh, the addition reaction with elimination of, of three water molecule to give hydrosyl methyl phosphora, right? And in that case, we are going to have uh, this is hydrosyl and this is what is a methyl group here, right? In the methyl group, we call it this methyl group hydrosyl methyl. Then everything that you are seeing here is a phosphora group, and this is why it is phosphora. Phosphora simply this a hell is basically because of what of the hydrofluorination group that you are having here, and that is just that is just what. For fora, right? So this is actually uh, the chemical basis of what of uh, of uh, Bias test because Bias test actually explain something that has to, uh, that has to do with what the addition reaction. That is whenever uh, pentosis, that is pentose sugar, whenever pentosis, uh, whenever they react with hydrochloric acid, they undergo what undergo the the addition reaction to give fora derivative, right? That is they give simply fora. In this case, it's not hydrosyl methyl phosphora. It is basically phosphora. And I'm going to uh let me simply just let me help you to show the reaction, right? Let me show the reaction. It's just like you are having something like this. Let me show the reaction here. Just like is this something that is uh very very similar to uh this? Now let's go ahead. Let's say we have uh we have ribo sugar because ribo is a type of of pentose, right? These are ribo sugar. You have hydrogen here, right? We have carbon is here. You have hydrosy 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 group here. You have hydrogen here. Then we have OH is here, right? We have OH is here. Then we have uh, CH2OH here, right? I think this is up to five, one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to add hydrogen to everything, right? So whenever this type of uh, pentose sugar, whenever it undergo uh, the addition reaction, that is whenever it is treated with conk. It can be conk H2SO4 or it is what conk what hydrochloric acid. Whenever it is treated with what is hydrochloric acid, that is it reacted with hydrochloric acid. There is always lots of what of three molecules of water as well. But whenever there is lots of three molecules of water in this case, the what is formed is actually a phosphora. It is basically a phosphora because it doesn't have anything methyl hydrosyl or hydrosyl methyl in its structure. This is basically what we are going to be having, right? There will be removal of what of everything here, and in that scenario. I should have a single bond here, then followed by a double bond with a carbon here, right? So I'm going to have single bonded with a carbon here, right? I'm going to have double bonded with another carbon here. So this is going to be hydrogen. Then from this side to this side, I'm going to have what? Uh, oxygen. They are going to react to each other. Then I'm going to have hydrogen here, right? And I'm going to have what? Hydrogen here. So this is basically for fora. For fora. 
So this is basically for folder. There's nothing like hydrogen metal for folder. So this one is hydrogen metal for folder. So just know that whenever exhaust sugar, whenever they undergo the addition reaction, they undergo the addition reaction to give or to give hydrogen, hydrogen metal for folder. But if it is five carbon atom, that is pentosis. Whenever pentosis undergo what undergo the addition reaction that is they react with what react with HCl or conk H2SO4. There's always lots of what of three molecules of water, and in that scenario, there's summation of what of for derivative. So in that case, yeah, the, this five carbon atom that we use is actually what ribose, and this is what this is glucose, right? So that's just it. So that's just about what the addition reaction. So this five pentosis reacting with aerochloric acid is actually a basis test for beer test. That is the test for beer test. Is actually uh the basis for beer test, and in this case, and this case, the phosphorus that is produced, uh, it can react to with with osino, right? And whenever the phosphorus reacts to with osino, it's from what? It's from green complex. That is green colored complex. That's what is formed as a product, right? That's what is formed as a product. Just like the phosphorus derivative that is formed from the dilution of, of ribose sugar can react to with osino to form what? To form green colored concept uh the, the green colored complex right so that's also it. so and one thing about beta is that beta is commonly used for the detection of what of uh of xylose in urine it's mostly used it's mostly used for the detection of what of xylose for in what in urine whenever urine analysis what is carried out you can simply use what via test to check for what for the detection of what of xylose right in urine so that's just it so that's just it in uh when it comes to uh the this the addition of what of ribose sugar. But in the case of uh glucose, whenever glucose undergo the addition, we have hydrogen material uh, material for folder that is what that is produced. And one thing about it is that one thing about uh this is that one thing about this for is that this hydrogen material for folder that is produced it can react with what with phenolic compound. It can react with phenolic compound. It can react with phenolic compound. Phenolic compound. That is any compound that contain what that contain phenol groups, right? For example, the case of uh naphtho. For example, the case of of naphtho. So this product can react what with this naphtho to form what to form colored products. It can form colored products. Right? And the colored product that is formed is well explained. In Molish test, I'm going to release uh, a video on this Molish test to explain everything. Alpha for react reacts what with alpha and alpha to form to form us a colored product, right? So that's just about the about the addition of what of monosaccharide. So just on monosaccharide, for example, the exhaust monosaccharide. Whenever they undergo the addition, there is loss of what of three molecules of water. The dilution occur in what in acidic medium to give hydrogen metal for folder. But in the case of ribose sugar, which is a pentosis, a pentose sugar. Whenever they undergo the addition reaction, there is loss of what of three molecules of water, but what is produced is what is for fora, right? So that's just it. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.